Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside me today. Today we're gonna build a $10, that's it, 10 bucks, 3D archery range stool. So if you watch or have ever been to an actual full functioning 3D event like the ASA or the IBO, you'll see a lot of folks are carrying around stools because much like golf, when you're actually working in a foursome or five shooters, it could take you a couple hours to get to a 20 or 30 target 3D course. And because of that, it's nice to sit down and take the weight off your feet for a little bit. So you'll see people with a wide array of different stools from a wide array of different price points. And a lot of them, quite frankly, for all they are, just a simple stool with an arrow tube on them. I think are a little bit overpriced and so I've been wanting to build my own and I didn't have an opportunity to do so at a price point that I wanted for all the more that I shoot 3d archery until I accidentally walked into my local Walmart the other day so I shouldn't say that I accidentally walked into Walmart that'd be really hard to do but I did deliberately buy this stool so I will link all the parts that I found down in the description below to have this build work exactly the way it is and of course you can continue to modify it as much as you would like to but first things first I wanted a stool that was sturdy enough I weigh about 215, 220 pounds, so I needed something that was able to go over 200 pounds. This stool here is able to go to 225. I found it at Walmart for $5.92 before tax. So this is a $6 hunting stool, but the greatest part is that it has the undercarry pouch. This is something that I'd never seen in a stool in this price point before, searching on Amazon, eBay, or anywhere else. Even my local marketplaces didn't have something this cheap. So when I'm walking down the sporting goods section, saw the stool I had to give it a shot not only does it have the undercarriage to carry things in the field with you but it also has a shoulder strap so it's attached in either corner you pick it up put it on your shoulder and it folds up on itself couple that now with an aero tube and I have myself a 3d stool for less than 10 bucks now a competitor real 3d stool can be upwards of 30 40 50 60 even a hundred bucks or more and that is outlandish for all the more that I'm going to be shooting 3d two three four times a year Year, maybe with my buddies and I just like a place to sit as we go out and shoot for a couple of hours now a lot of competitors will have two arrow tubes but these are six 23 diameter victory VTAC 23 arrows here and there is still as they spin around the tube plenty of room and as a guy who just shoots local 3d tournaments having six arrows is more than enough now the DIY arrow tube is very straightforward and I will link all the parts in the description below. But you can get away with using any lightweight plastic tubing. If you would like to use PVC, it's gonna weigh a little bit more and I wanted to keep this down as low as possible. Plus also I didn't need to buy a large section of PVC pipe to make this. This is actually a drain stem from an S trap. I had a couple from our renovations of our home over the past few years, replacing kitchen sinks and whatnot. I had an extra uh, extension. This is a 16 inch ex extension and that was perfect like I said PVC will work but it's heavier and it's thicker wall and it's not as fun to work with this right here is inch and a half in diameter and that's plenty of room for six arrows standard diameter arrows I can fit nine in this tube and that works out great I've decorated it with some stickers on the outside so it's not just this plastic white tube but you can decorate it as you would like to actually mount it onto the stool itself you'll see here is the rivet that allows the legs to crisscross me bolted together I found the positioning for the tube just eyeballed it took a sharpie and made a mark then drilled a hole big enough for this rivet to sit in so that way the tube can sit flush up against the sides of the stool then I just went up and down the stool finding places where I could drill holes and in this case here you can see I have used four heavy duty zip ties and this sucker is mounted on here really really well now since kitchen sink drains and general other PVC like that if you put a cap on the end it'll cause it to butt out and not be flush with the rail so what I did here at the bottom is I took an old really sturdy pill bottle cap and I'm sure plenty of us have plenty of pill bottles lying around ibuprofen antibiotics or you know raid your grandfather's medicine cabinet sure he's got an old cap laying around somewhere and then I just hockey taped it onto the bottom aesthetically is it the most pleasing thing in the world no it's not but it was free it was cheap and it was simple like I said I slapped a couple of stickers here on the outside and I think it looks really good but let's not talk about the arrow tube anymore. Let's actually get to the interior pocket, which is why I like this so much. This stool is sold as like a dove hunting or a field hunting stool, but the amount of stuff you can put inside this just for a 3D shoot is insane. First, we got some granola bars and snack bars. An entire 48 ounce Nalgene bottle goes inside this thing. Now, granted, this is empty, so all the weight isn't there, but that is a lot of water. I have a jar of Seriously Slick, which is an aero lubricant from Sirius Archery. Really nice on old 3D foam targets. 
a Pine Ridge Archery Quick Stand, which is a must have if you're gonna take your bow on a 3D course, gotta have somewhere to set it. My hinge release, which is a staple for my 3D courses. Always have at least one, if not two pens, and I like to carry a Sharpie with me as well. Last but not least, I have the Archer's Allen set, which comes from Pine Ridge, and of course is there to fix anything that you need while you're on the course. And there's still room for more, although I don't know what else you would need. Simply then, of course, grab it by the shoulder handle. It folds up onto itself, and then you're on your way, ready to go to the next target. So for less than 10 bucks, the best 3D stool I think you could make possibly for the money. And for those of you that might say, well, I'm over 225 pounds in the working load limit. Well, remember, that's 225 pounds directly onto the chair. Remember, your legs actually aren't on it. At least that's the method I'm going to go with. Because I'll bet you I weigh over 225 pounds when I get fully loaded with all my clothes and shoes on. So I say if you're 250, 260, maybe push a little bit more, still give it a shot. Why not? It's only six bucks. What can it Hurt. So that's all for this video and this $10 3D stool. If you have any questions about 3D archery or any other facets of archery and archery hunting, please follow the links in the description below. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, send me an email, or leave a comment here on YouTube. I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.